The 2018 NBA Finals were probably one of the most boring NBA Finals in recent NBA history, if not all of NBA history. I mean, this was an actual graphic that the NBA put out to hype up the NBA Finals in 2018. On one side, we have a trio that would make grown men weep if they have to play him at a local park. And then on the other side, we have LeBron. Corver that would retire in two years, and Tristan Thompson, who since leaving LeBron has averaged a staggering 5.7 points per game this season. Seems about even to me. People at the time even said the Warriors without KD would have won that series. So I, with the power of 2K, took KD, put him on the Cleveland Cavaliers with LeBron and Kevin Love, and let's see if they can win an NBA championship. So let's see we gotta look at first. Steph Curry and the Warriors. Now, this team really shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. We have Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green when he was just forgetting how to shoot with his backpack on, Andre Iguodala, a little bit old, and a bunch of decent guys, Zaza Pachulia, who I'm pretty sure that this season, alas, is you know, intentionally hurt uh, Kawhi Leonard, so uh, Snake. Uh, Nick Young is on here, um, and a few other guys is looking pretty good. The only one that's not here is actually Boucher, who, by the way, back-to-back -back champion, kind of weird. Then we have the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James at his beautiful 99 overall. I mean, the guy was still dogging the league right now. And then Kevin Durant, who's a 97 this year. I mean, this is a duo that I just don't want to know how it's going to look. I'm just kidding, I do. <laughs> but he's going to be playing the power forward. And we have Kevin Durant, who's going to be playing the small forward. Love is right here as well, who's going to be playing the center. I love the spacing on this. Um, we also have Kyle Korver um, and a few other guys. Now, Compasso and Waters um, were not in the league. They're just kind of here. They're not going to play any minutes, though. So... Let's see what they do, at least in the season, because I'm curious. So here's the awards for this season. MVP is none other than James Harden. Rookie of the year, Ben Simmons. The meme has finally come true again. Julius Randle brings home the sixth man of the year. Andre Drummond is defensive player of the year. And most improved goes to Tyus Jones, who honestly had some pretty average stats if you really look at him. Now, this is something that I actually never expected to happen, but both teams finish with the exact same record of 51 and 31. The LeBron and KD duo was insane, with LeBron averaging 24 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists, and nearly 2 steals and 2 blocks per game, while KD averaged 22 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and a block per night. The duo is crazy. Also, you can't forget about the 16 points and 10 rebounds from Kevin Love. For the Warriors, it was the Steph Curry possible MVP snub argument that was happening all season as he averaged a crazy 37 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, and 44% from the 3-point line on 13 attempts a game. Clay did what he does best with 29 points, 2 boards, and 4 assists, shooting 42% from 3. And Draymond rounded out the big 3 with an 8 point, 9 rebound, 10 assists, 1 steal, and 1 block season. Come on, he was never really much of a scorer. Now, this is the playoff bracket. Both teams finish as the 3rd seed. Of course, they had the same record. And of course, as it should be, they match up in the NBA Finals. But first, look at these stats from the Conference Finals MVP. Def just averaged 43 points, 7 rebounds, and 6. It should be a good game. Oh, and LeBron averaged 27, 11, and 10 on 47% from 3. Yeah, this is going to be a good NBA Finals. Okay, so I was going to do some crazy, like, cinematic thing. Like, we're, oh, we're watching the game. Have some fun. But game one is, um, well, it's a blowout. 130 to 98 as KD, Kevin Love, LeBron James. They are just too much right now for the Warriors to handle. I mean, absolutely. Look at this. KD taking Iggy to the paint. Makes on the layup. Good defense by Iggy. But, yeah, this is a bad one. So game one wraps up as a Cleveland Cavaliers W. Everybody shaking hands, being nice and civil. But it really was the story of Kyle Korver, who dropped 24 points along with KD. And alrighty, game number two. So we got it right here. This one is an insanely close game. Warriors only up three. Steph sizing up that matchup. Obviously, he likes his Jordan Clarkson and Clarkson, not the greats. Oh, defender blows right by him. And Steph bricks the midi, but LeBron is getting a crazy, crazy board. Apparently, they are third in rebounds per game, which doesn't surprise me. Those three. Oh, yeah. All right. We got to see if they can sink this one. Clarkson passing it down to LeBron. Oh, he's got that Steph Curry matchup. That's an easy fade for him. Oh, doesn't hit it. Okay. 
You can see Kevin Love is waiting to check in. Apparently, they are not liking how things are going right now. Clarkson trying his best. LeBron again in the post. Bricks another one. Really just taking way too quick of shots. And now we're at the line. All right, last second chance here. Iggy is also back into the game at KD, sizing him up over to Corver. Scar at game number one. He's giving it back to LeBron James. Another shot. And that's three straight breaks for LeBron to end game number two. And that was the story of it. Game number three is the Steph Curry and LeBron show. We're currently in a 118 to 118 tie game between the two teams. So here we are. It is a crazy one. Cleveland actually has the ball 118, 118. There's exactly a minute on the clock, not anymore. But there is a, it's a crazy amount. As, oh, Katie nearly turns it over, but Ronnie Hood saves him. But we got Draymond running up the court for assist number 16 and down to Clay Thompson and a two point lead for the Golden State Warriors. If they win this, it's a series lead, whoever takes it. Draymond's taking the tough KD matchup. Oh, he pulls up in Steph's face. Hyper contested, ties the game up. The ice on KD is just, it, it's crazy. All right, Steph sizing up Jordan Clarkson again. We love this matchup. He's got 40 on him, nearly turns the ball over, picks it back up. Oh, step back. Curry's he's greening and falling asleep on him. Oh, my Lord. Steph Curry again, just going crazy. This guy is a man on a mission. All right, now the play's not over yet. The game's not over. It's not done. Kevin Love's into LeBron James. He's sizing up Draymond Green. Draymond's just picking up whoever gets the ball passed in. LeBron, another post shot. Yeah, I can't condone that after seeing what's been happening in the previous games. Smart play, just getting it into Steph Curry's hands. This guy might have 50 when it's all said and done. And game number three wraps up as a 2-1 series lead for the Warriors as they win 124-120. to 120. Final end score is Curry doesn't quite get that 50 point game but still gets 49 points just an insane amount and lebron james and kevin durant did do their best shot but again we are witnessing lebron james choking and lebron heard the talking on twitter here we are 114 to 104 and there we go lebron actually gets a dish down pass to kevin love who bricks it but this is a 40 point lead in the finals this is one of the biggest blowouts in an nba finals game in history and lebron has one of the most insane stat lines as the cleveland cavaliers take game number two 146 to 104 again one of the biggest blowouts in finals history and if I piqued your interest with that crazy LeBron stat line, here was the game. Kevin Love actually hits an insane 10 threes for 35 points. But LeBron has a 28 point, 9 rebound, 19 assist performance. Absolutely on a rail. And Kyle Korver, again, doing some work. Now, this final so far has been either a blowout by the Cavs or a very close game won by the Warriors. And right now, that tradition is seeming to be over. We have a minute and a half left. It's a 10 point game with Cleveland up this time looking to do something. Spoiler alert Clay's got 49. Oh, we got LeBron back in the post. Sean Livingston on him. This one's actually a baby. And there is the dunk. I mean, LeBron James is just different right now. All right, Clay's had a hot hand all night. He's even beginning. He actually could have chucked that three right there. Oh, okay. Passing to Steph right over Jordan Clarkson. Just not a lot of great shot selection I'm seeing on the Warriors right now. It just seems like they're trying to chuck their way out of this game. And oh my, as LeBron and KD get a wide open three. So game three wraps up. Steph is on his knees. Cannot believe what, the, what is happening right now as they now give it up back-to-back -back games to the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron missed those four. And this really could have been a sweep for the Cavs. Now, this is the NBA Finals where legacies are made. Dynasties are cemented and the best of the best players put on the best of the best shows. The Cleveland Cavaliers are one game away and Warriors with their pedigree of winning should come back and give it their all to make this one a close one. But that's not what happened in this game. As the Cleveland Cavaliers win their second NBA championship, KD's second ring and LeBron's fourth, bringing home Cleveland's second championship. And boy, do they raise it proud. Finals MVP, as is no shock to anyone, it goes to LeBron James. I mean, come on, it's LeBron, and he averaged an insane 26 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists this series. A triple-double average. Just shouldn't be allowed. So what happens when KD's no longer on the Warriors in the 2018 Finals and is instead on the Cavs? Yeah, as is no surprise, 
they win the NBA championship because come on, LeBron and KD, that's one of the scariest duos in NBA history. Like, if you did enjoy, comment down below what you guys thought of this one and any other future ideas you guys have, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.